Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lores Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android UI in which we'll be talking about the ripple effect, the ripple animation from material design for Android API 9 upwards. Our expandable layout provides an easy way to create a view called header with an expandable view. Our both are external layout to allow a maximum customization. Uh, in which we are going to use an expandable layout uh, to actually uh, integrate this. We will be creating a recycler view uh, and also the list view. And we will be uh, integrating the ripple animation whereby you a click on each list or each recycler uh, item is going to show a sort of um, a, a kind of uh, glow. You know, why you click is going to give a, an oval. Uh, glow right on the click uh, portion i'll be moving straight to android studio where i have my uh, source files i'll first of all be talking about the big radio where we will have the dependency that is actually making uh, this ripple effect uh, possible on your application i'll be talking about the com.github t-r-a-e-x you can call it tracks dot ripple effect library 1.3 this is the latest uh, version uh you have to include this in your dependency after doing that you uh, synchronize uh gradle and i'll be moving straight to the layout where i'll be talking about the xml's involved uh, we talked about the recycler view we talk about the list view and also the row which is actually sitting at the end of the uh of the ui of the application uh, let's quickly look at the activity main list uh, XML. This is the this is actually holding on to the list items. Uh, this is a relative layout, you know, calling from the main activity. We have the two bar uh, support version seven widgets. We have a relative layout right inside it with the layout width of match parent and text views. Uh, this actually has uh, the text ripple effect. Now we have the index and uh, index art library dot ripple view these are you include the ripple view inside your uh uh inside your xml you no know, this is actually holding on to the image view you know and this image view is calling the ic menu edit uh, but you have a closing uh tag for this uh ripple view we have another ripple view which is actually holding on to another image view which is for the plus sign these are all sitting at the top bar of the application which is sitting at the toolbar of the application now we have the ripple view right there which is holding on to the uh, to the rectangle the, the rv type rectangle and uh, we are sending an id to it correct and calling the drawable selector row now holding on to the text view this time uh whereby we have the text color you know set appropriately but the text on it is early one you know this is actually going to serve as the list items uh, we have the closing ripple view and the list view outside the uh the ripple view whereby we have another rectangle which is actually having an id called list uh, view now i'll be looking at the main recycler view this is for the recycler view uh this is actually going to also hold on to the toolbar you know where we have the text view ripple effect the same thing goes uh when we assign the ripple view library to the image view of the menu edit just like the way we did for the uh for the list items and also for the uh ic pro uh plus which is the plus sign we'll get to see that at the two bar of the application now we have the ripple view which is actually holding on to the recycler items whereby we had uh, an id called rectangle and uh, the text view is uh calling direct child id and the text on it is uh hello world which is actually uh, closing up there and we have the recycler view calling up from the support version 7 widget and we have the closing recycler view so we are integrating it in the recycler view and also we integrate it in the list view so you get to see how to integrate uh, the ripple effect inside it now for the row view uh, this is a relative layout which uh, has an image view which is for the icon you know we're actually adding the ripple view uh, tag to the icon which is right at the row and at the top uh, most part of this uh, ui now we'll get to look at the java classes that were used in instantiating these uh, xmls 
we talk about the custom adapter and the custom disk view adapter and we have the main activity anyways and we have the on tap listening as on top of each uh, item I was going to have to let's quickly look at the main activity of this application uh, we imported the action back activity the linear layout manager the recycler view and the adapter view and so on we also impl imported the ripple view from the com and exert library which is for uh, the ripple effect the main activity extends action by activity this has been deprecated anyway so we have compact we can use app compact uh, we have the is re, if it's recycler view you know the sign force to this and we have the source arrays list which is for the list items you know it is com, comes in the form of an array our uncreate method is set on the uncreate uh saved instance state based on the super now if it's recycler view are uh, you going to set the content view to the activity main recycler else if it's not set the content view to the activity main list so pick the right content view you know for each particular uh, feature that is if it's a recycler view if it's not definitely it's going to be a list view now we need to instantiate the ripple view the text view and the toolbar calling on the appropriate ids to set support action bar to the toolbar now you can also set an unclick listener to the ripple view don't think it's just going to be static this is just like a demonstration of how to create it you can set an unclick listener to each list whereby uh, but before you do that look at the way you need to set it you set it to the ripple view itself and you log to tag and you set the on ripple complete listener whereby you log to tag so the, the same thing goes for the text view you can see the way it's been set and afterwards you cannot set uh the on the on click listener to the text view it's going to take uh, effect first of all you set the click you set the on click listener to the ripple view afterwards you now set it to the appropriate text view now we need to call on the source list array whereby we had a lot of stuff which is going to form the list uh, samsung android google and so on now if it's recycler view this is going to call on the recycler view which is going to instantiate and call this id and uh, we also call the custom adapter uh, class where we'll be talking about the custom adapter class after this now you update the list uh, now we have the set on top listener to this and you set the adapter based on the custom adapter object passed now if it's not definitely it's going to be a list view which you do appropriately just like the way you did for the recycler view you set its adapter you set on item click listener on this so definitely the ripple view is being done on it and yet you need to still uh, create an on click listener to each list item just the way you click you create on click listener to the items uh, you can now let's look at the custom adapter uh, this is for the recycler view anyway uh, whereby you have the custom adapter constructor and on create view order for each uh, adapter uh, where you have to uh, inflate the layout and we have the unbind view loader which is going to actually listen to the tap and count it up you know you can you can uh, use any other stuff you need to use on your recycler view that depends on what you actually want to do on the recycler view i'll be uploading this source file to my github account and i'll be showing this in an android emulator so that you get to look and get to see how the ripple effect is being uh, uh, can really displayed on the recycler view and also on the list items and we'll also be handling on the toolbar which is the top bar of the application where we have some other icons like two of icons that will actually uh, incorporate the uh, ripple effect inside it uh, we'll be looking at the application here we we'll go with the application now we have it uh, seated the ripple effect now we have the two application this is the for the plus sign where we we'll get from the drawable and this is uh, actually another uh, icon for the drawable you click on this you get to see uh, how the ripple effect actually displays on it and you see and you see how the, the glow a, a, a spherical glow this is the recycler view you notice and for the list items for each list item you get to see the ripple effect 
which definitely you can work on this by calling another intent on your own create method or on your own on uh item on click listener rather you can get to uh push this to probably another application or or push this to another activity you know but the major bone of contention is how to integrate the ripple effect right on list items and even on the recycler view item and even on the top bars which is the toolbar of this app or your, of, of your particular application thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial i hope you gain one or two things right using the ripple effect to improve your ui this is these are all from the android material designs and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye